Wow. I just spoke to his doctor said he's on his way back. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I yeah, can't wait. Hey, what a surprise! Oh, nice son, get down here, home. Who is that, eh? Hey? You're welcome, son. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> wow, wow, you look great. Oh, please. You are not the one I'm expecting to see. Excuse me. Come on, what, what is the meaning of this? Stop. Your Highness, I believe he's close by. Yes, I know my son has entered Umuji Kingdom. Just that I feel so bad. I hate to get enter this palace before my son. I'm very sure Prince Ihejika returned to the palace on purpose so he can assign Prince Ihe as a question. Shut up. How dare you say that? I'm sorry, my Highness. He will never outshine my son. Have you forgotten his name? Eze Kwesere. That means he is the rightful heir to the throne of his father. Yes, Your Highness. So don't see that again. Just get out. Get away. Hey, um, would you kindly take a chill pill and try not to be up on the hill? I'm trying to lash. 
What is it? Um, you're so beautiful, honestly. I've not seen a creature like you in a while. That's some real shit. So for that, you have to be following me around like my shadow. Hey, 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 hey. How dare you talk to the police like that? I've, I've I'm sorry, my friends. I, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. Well, let's, let's forget about the title. Who I am here doesn't really matter when it comes to a pretty one like you. Pardon me. <laughs> Where are you heading to? Home. I offer to drop you. No, my prince, I'm, I'm fine. It's just... Don't worry. Thank you. I don't like you telling people who I am. I'm sorry, my Can friends. you stop already? I'm sorry, my friends. She's such a diva. You already know I can't give up. So I'm giving her a chase. Joy to see you once again after a long while. Honestly, I've missed you, but then again, I wasn't expecting to see you. You just um, surprised me because you never called that you were coming. Thank you very much, Father. Some days are like that. Oh, you're going to say that again. I... Wow. <laughs> what Yo! Is this? Come on! Yeah. Father. You're born! Wow. What is this? What's, What's up, up brother? Lee? I'm okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Two of my sons returning from overseas. This shows how the gods are benevolent to us. And I think this calls for a big celebration. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Guys! No, no, Dad. It's not necessary. You see, there's no need to join a feast because we just came back from the city. Isn't it so, bro? Yes, you are right, Blood. Instead of wasting money on drinks and party, let's focus on uh, the growth of this kingdom and making it a better place. Really? Of course. <laughs> That's what's up. Do you know I thought my brother is too glued to this old man tradition? <laughs> <laughs> Our tradition is what defines us. And that's who we are. Well, uh, like I said, it's a moment of joy for me. You're all welcome. My prince. <laughs> sorry, I kept you waiting. I'm so sorry, please. Ah, no problem. I was talking with my father. No problem. Okay. okay. You are my prince. Take your time. Before you see me. Okay. Don't okay. um, you, you still remember my daughter, Dubem, right? She Dubem. Yes, of yes, course. I remember yes. her. So I just want you to know that she's back from school, so she's at home. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she <laughs> would be a very big girl by now. And I'm sure she has uh, moved on with her life. Uh, my prince, she's not only big, old, she's very beautiful. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I would want you to come over to the house, eh? um, hook up, and uh, maybe you can. <laughs> Continue from the little escapades. No, 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 don't go there, don't go there. <laughs> I'm sure she must have forgotten all that, and we all are now grown, so. But having said that, if I have to, I'll come. In fact, I'll come. Good, good. I'll come. Because, I'll visit. Yeah, you know, she's, she's a beautiful girl, okay? And right now, anything I tell, him, I tell her, anything I tell her, she will do. 
Oh, no, not okay. I'll visit when Please, I'm free. Okay? You're free just Thank you very much. Eh? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> My friend. I'll send something for you. Ah, that would be great. Thank you very much. You. Yeah. Called me. Choco du Bell. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> What's your mother? It's more. Mm -mm. Like both of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you settle <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. For peace to rent. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you still remember the prince. Which of the prince are you referring to? Who? Except uh, Ihedika. Hmm? Do you think I will be talking about uh, that rascal uh, Ezekwesi? Why? Why should I talk about him? Prince Ezekwesi might be a radical, but he's still a very handsome man. So, what did you tell Prince Ihedika about me? Uh, my daughter, I didn't tell him anything, though. But you know, he's somebody I respect a lot. You know, my, my respect for him is <laughs> unquantifiable. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, he will be coming. So, when he comes, he will tell you with his mouth what he wants to tell you. Huh? Then you listen to him. Okay? Yeah. No. You should have done that. Huh? You should have done that. Huh? You have She's grown up. She's of age. Eh? She has the right to choose any man she wants to be with, be it a prince or not. You didn't do that. I know. I know she's grown up. But she's equally my daughter. And her well being is my utmost priority. Yes, so I have every right to interfere. Not to choose a man. Um, Papa, if you ask me, I'll say. There is no reason for us to indulge in this discussion for now. Let's wait for Prince Iyejika to come and say his mind. Until then, I don't have anything to say. He's my daughter. You are very wise. Though, you know? <laughs> eh? It's like somebody fighting over a bicycle that has not been bought. Yeah? <laughs> so I agree with you. <laughs> let, me, let him come. When he comes, eh? listen to him. And eh? try and consider whatever he wants to say. Eh? Till then, Papa. Uh -huh. Hey! Papa, can I? Papa, can I leave now? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Son, uh, are you not forgetting something? The drink you've not given it to your father. Please do. It's very important. It's about the prince and our daughter. <laughs> I want to hook them up. Yes. I want us to be part of the royal household. Our beautiful daughter, Chidubem, must be the queen, the future queen of this kingdom. <sighs> What if the prince does not like Dubem? Or if Dubem herself is not interested in the prince? Huh? My wife, mm -hmm. the prince is a good man. 
He is a perfect example for any young man. He is the dream son-in-law of any good parent. He is a perfect example for any young man. Yes. Um, the prince may not take over from the father because of the way the law law is dotting her favorite arrogant son, Ezekiel, you know. But um, the prince must marry our daughter, our beautiful daughter. Yes, that circumstance notwithstanding. Must? Nah. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We pray. <laughs> what will be, will be. <laughs> My dear. Yes. God will not do for you what you can do for yourself. So it's not just praying. I have to make sure that it happens. Yes. <laughs> mm. Marriage is not all about physical outlook. Hmm? Maybe, you never can tell. Maybe the prince has his own idea of the woman he wants. Just take it easy. And who is talking about physical outlook? I am telling you that the prince is a perfect example of any in-law you can think of, both spiritually and physically. So I'm not just talking of the physical outlook. Nah. Yes. It is okay. Hmm? <laughs> what will be, will be. Eh? <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Relax. Relax. Where are you going? To lock the door? Yeah. Don't worry, I've already done that. But then, why are you still scared of people seeing us together? Why? Because they don't need to see us together. You and my mother's meeting. Okay, so um, it's not a good thing for people to see us together, at least not now or not. Not any time. Not any time. It's okay. It's very obvious that you don't even love me anymore. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've told you to stop catching too much feelings. Right? Let's... You think it's easy? No, do you think it's easy for me? Let's enjoy it while it lasts. That's it. A boss here will give you enough money, make you happy, and you know, life goes on. Hey, stop that. What's going on? Are you here for that? Pretty. 
Let's continue jogging. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, just really sorry. <laughs> wow. I, I think you pick up this location. Don't do it that way. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me take a look. Right? <laughs> wait, let me take a look. Hold on. <laughs> wow. This is really serious. Is your, is your house far from here? <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. Just hop in, hop in, hop in, let me drop you. Huh? Yeah, hop in. Yeah. Please, no, 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 hey, I'm hey. Fine, I, I can manage, don't worry. Hey, don't worry, I cannot you. leave you here, all right? Just stand, just stand. Okay. Hey. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh. sorry. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh yeah, I got that. Oh. This way, right? Sorry, sorry, Thank God the prince was there to help our mother. Mm -hmm. Mama, don't touch it now. I think it is it's painful. What is it? It's painful. It's like I'll call your father to do it himself. I can't even touch it and you'll shout it. Hey. Hi. Mama, okay, give me Relax. Mama, let me do it myself now. Let me just put a little <laughs> pressure on it to me. Okay, okay, Mama, wait. You bend. Mama, wait, I'm fine. I'm fine. She bends my leg. I'm fine. Don't do it. I'm fine. What's your problem? Mama, it's my leg now. I said I'm fine. Mama, don't touch me. This thing is painful. Okay. We'll leave it. I'll do it myself. Thank you. Do it yourself. You're not having any pain. Just a little. Mama, leave it now. It's my leg. Leave it. Let me do this thing. You know what is your problem? Help you just a little, a little pressure. Mama, <laughs> Mama, stop now. You're stressing me. Stop. This thing is bringing me. Stop. Ma, just a little.
We have the mace. Get away. Did you by any chance see my son as a question? I'm not sure, Your Highness. I've not seen him since morning since he left. Though I'm just coming back from an era. Where could he be? My friend, you don't have to worry yourself. Prince Ezra Questly is a strong man that knows how to find his way back to where he belongs. Ah! Oh. Where is my son? Greetings, my queen. Where is my son? Uh, we just came back from jogging. He's taking a shower. What have you been teaching my good son? Before you brought your stupid self, he was a good boy. Leave him before you got to him. Or I force you to leave disgracefully. Push you out of this place. So respect yourself. Stupid. all my children I want to thank you for these wonderful gifts that uh, you are giving to me as you return from overseas mm -hmm. I want to say that they are precious to me may the gods of our land continue to bless and guide you you say uh, okay. I'm glad you love it uh, yes it's beautiful yeah I, I I love the 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 nose part I love how they had the beads on. It looks quite nice. Nice yes. one. May Your Majesty, you cannot compare this painting to these expensive drinks as the person presented to you. Of course, so we all know this is 18 years and there's some whoop whoop amount as so well. You can imagine. He did this painting himself, meaning he will not spend his own personal money on you. Except what is enabled to produce, that is what is going ah, to give you. Well, uh, my queen, that is your personal opinion, but I, I can assure you that this artwork is very, very expensive, hmm. especially when you take it to the black market. I can assure you that it's worth a fortune. Besides, oh, yes. life is a journey, not competition. We yes. are not competing. Really, no. <laughs> so once again, I appreciate your gifts. Thank um, you, Father. May the gods of our life continue to bless all of you. you say... The least you can do is to appreciate, okay? <laughs> Make sure she take that in the morning before eating. And uh, after eating, towards evening time, she can see take it again. Uh, yes. And I bet you, in the next seven days, she'll be okay. Really? Why? She'll be okay. It's all right. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. And so, how much will I pay you for this? <laughs> oh, no. Money is not the factor here. Yeah, you're my best friend. Hey, whatever you have, you can bring it. Whatever you have. Is whatever you have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I will just give you more than what I you know. Said. <laughs> <laughs> even Whatever even. you have, just bring it. Is that right? yeah. yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Please, uh, please, uh, yeah. Bye, man. Mm -hmm. So you're sure it will work? Oh, I'm 100% sure. Mm. Why? Uh, let me make sure you shake it very well. Only a little of that can cure. Yes, yes, a little of that. Oh, yes. Looks like very, very bitter. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Um, the way you are looking at the money. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, no problem. I can manage it. Okay. Oh no. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Mm. Everywhere. 
Mama. How are you? I'm fine. And your parents? You're fine. Mama, keep on keep me. <laughs> Thank God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what of uh, Dubem? Is she around? Ah. Dubem is asleep. Asleep? Yes. And you allow her to be sleeping by this time of the day? <laughs> Mama, who is doing the chores in the house? No, 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 I'm going to drag her up. Mama, I'm not going to by this time of the day. Hey, if you've been wired, hmm? <laughs> Dubem sustained an ankle injury this morning during her morning exercise. Injury? So, yes. So Mama, I hope it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Mama, eh? are you sure? That's why she needs the rest, eh? eh? Yeah. Once she have a nice sleep. Mama, rest, it will be okay. I need to see her. Make sure you don't I wake her up. I will not wake her up. Don't wake her up. I will not wake her up. Trust me, Mama, I will not wake her up. Don't. <laughs> Your luggage looking like a baggage. Oh, my prince. It's been nice um, living with you. But I have to go now. My mother asked you to go, right? Hey, look. You know I don't do rated 16 stuff. I do rated 18. So you better tell me. My mother asked you to leave, right? Yaki. All right, do me a favor. Would you just stay here for some time? Hmm? I need to talk to my mother. Hey, don't do that. I'll see you soon. Just this morning, I sent him on an errand. You called me, and you said something to him. I told him what he needed to know. And if he is wise and respect him too, he will leave the spice now that he can, before it is too late. Mama, you know, I do rated 18 stars. Because when you do otherwise, that's when I tell someone, viewer's discretion is advised. I respect you a whole lot. Of course, more than everyone in this palace. I want you to do the same for me. I call this some respect. Jewel is more than a friend to me. I invited him to this palace, not you, not father. So I wouldn't want you to intrude by telling him to leave. I don't like that. I wouldn't want that to happen again. Let him be in peace. Please, mama.
Get us something to drink. just my boon companion. You're my brother. So why do you want to leave me? My prince, your mother did not fancy me. And I understand that. So just let me leave. Hey, forget about my mother. I just had a word with her. Stop acting like a kid, bro. I just can't get that girl off my mind. Oh, I wouldn't blame you, my prince. She's beautiful. She should go for her. The good thing is, you know where she stays. So you think I should visit? Yes, of course, my prince. Mm. Yeah. That's why I want you around. Children. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You mean the almighty <laughs> Ezekiel mm -hmm. carried you on his back and brought you back home? Mm -hmm. he, hey! Yes, he did. Like, he carried me on his back like a baby. This one loud though. <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> but I am still in shock because I never expected such kindness from him. This must be the reason why they say don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. Hey! But, mm -mm. Prince Ezekwesi, we should not be trusted. You know he's very, very unstable. I just... Mm. That's true. That's true. Anyways, Nonsu came back this morning. I don't know if you want to see him because he asked after you. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Well, even if I have to see him, it will not be today, maybe later. I can't move around with my leg like this. Mm, that's true. That's true. What if I tell him to come and see you now that your parents are not home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what if my parents come back while he's here? Hmm? He could forget about me for now. Okay. Well, I will just tell him to relax. You will come to see him when you're fit to walk. Fine. Thank you. And you? Don't tell me you came to see me empty handed. I never knew you were sick now. Eh? Ah. Eh, now, I just. Don't need no man now. Now you know, you know yeah? Go to your house. Go and bring uh -uh. something. What's that? I want to massage your leg. Don't, 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 don't touch. Mm -hmm. been smiling to yourself without even noticing that I'm here. Oh, really? Um, well, um, c can you please go? All right, uh, maybe you can come much later. What? I should go? By this time? How about now? What do you mean, how about now? What do you mean by this time? Are you traveling out of the palace? It's not just to go to your quarters. Please go. Whenever I say go, you go. Don't sit here and ask me questions. My love, just go. Can you, can you shut up? Just, just go. Just go. You're already making me angry. You don't need to question me. I said go. Just go. Ah. What if this... Go out. Get out. Ah. What if what? What if what? What if is what? What is what? Oh my God. Wake the whole, whole palace. So I was just jamming the door. You don't look good, so the good morning is not necessary. Are you okay? 
Do you know the whereabouts of my baby bro? Is a question. I'm sorry, my prince. I don't think I'm in the position to know where I thought of Princess Akosu. Oh. All right. When you came in here, didn't you see me? So why didn't you greet me? Oh. Huh? Sorry. You just came in from nowhere. You want to see the king. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like your sense is turning, Abby. Okay. You don't know you're supposed to greet me. The future king of this kingdom. You just came in and you want to see the king. Is he in? I'm sorry. I apologize. You should, be, you should be sorry for yourself. Now, for you to make such mistake, such crucial mistake, I don't want to see you in this compound. Just turn and go back to where you're coming from. No, you can't deprive me from seeing. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you deaf? Are you deaf? I need to see. And besides, you have no right to throw me out of the palace. A titled man like myself, it's not possible. You can't do that. You have no right. Leave this palace now. On whose directive? Viewers' discretion is advised. I'm the top of this compound. Are, 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 are you mad? Give me none of this. Go to the gate. Throw the fire out of this compound. I have nothing to do with the fire. Go to the gate. 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 Go I don't see right this nonsense. You will come to the door, right? I will see that you're walking If I hear your voice, I will come there and see that you're walking Let me tell you, whether you like it or not, that's a question. This humiliation you are giving to me, you will pay. You will definitely pay. I mean, in fact, I am telling you today, whether you like it or not, you will pay for this humiliation. No sense. No sense. Hi. Please, mother, I need to talk to you. What do you want? Why do you hate me so much? Yes. Since my mother died, you always treat me with so much hate. I don't know what transpired between you and my late mom, but I think bygone should be bygone. Why do you hate me so much? We should be living like one big happy family. We're going to worry if I'm as well. Yes. If it would interest you, I want my son to ascend the throne of his father. It may interest you. And you are the one blocking it not to happen. You are the hindrance. I reason why I hate you so much. I hate you with so much disdain. So it's about the throne. It has always been about the throne. Mm -hmm. Now you know. Will you let Ezekiel ascend his father's throne? Mm -hmm. 
Kini kana zo, kini kane ke. I this world na vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. I this world na vanity. Kini kana zo. Son of disappointment. You had the effrontery to molest the child Kando who came to visit me? How dare you? At least, ask me what happened, father. Caught me. He insulted my royalty. Maybe he walked up to me without greeting. That's an insult. So I, I had to punish him accordingly. No, not so much, but I think that a little bit though. You are a big fool. You are of all men most miserable. And every time I set my eyes on you, I regret the fact that I am your father. Oh, would you shut up? Shut up and don't even say a word. You are the reason this boy is like this. You are the reason. And listen, for your information, you have to go and publicly apologize to Ichio Kando. Otherwise, I can assure you that you will be punished according to the laws of this land. I have spoken. Get out of my sight! Get out! Say that I am fine uh, because uh, my daughter uh, Dubem mm. had an accident yesterday. Yes, and um, uh, is a question brought her home. Well, my, my prince, from the look of things, I suspect that uh, that accident was orchestrated by is No, 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 don't go there. Uh, my baby brother cannot even hurt a fly. Uh -uh. Oh, my prince, you see why I like you, eh? You are an, an epitome of royalty, eh? Always defending the weak. Eh, but my prince, eh, I, I don't have your number. If I had it, I would have called you yesterday to tell you that my daughter had an accident and uh, she dislocated her ankle. All right, um, sorry about what happened to your daughter. I'm hurrying up for a meeting, but I'll come see your daughter maybe tomorrow. You will come? Yes, I'll come. Oh, thank you. I will tell her that you will come. Eh? All right, Tony. Eh, thank you. Oh, my prince. Oh, no. My prince. Oh, my prince. I suggest you do as you are. Father has commanded for my sake, please. What do you mean by for your sake, please? I'm trying to get something straight. You know your mother, the queen, already sees me as a bad influence. 
If you don't do it, she will feel I'm the one influencing you wrongly. Is that my story? My king. Father. Have you done what I ask you to do? You mean to apologize? Oh, yes. Come on, Father. That shit is rated 16. I don't do rated 16 stuff, so I do rated 18, 20, and above. So I don't see myself doing that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye -bye. The fragrance of your arrogance is so daring. You look me in the eyes to tell me you will not do that which I have commanded you to do? Listen to me, son. Do not blame me for whatever that will happen to you after the expiration of the time I give to you to apologize to Jill Kando. My prince, my prince, pride the sake comes before the fall. Please yield to your father's advice. Now you are you are carrying walking stick like me, as if he, you are a palace chief. Look at that boy. That boy is a fool. Look, don't associate with him. Oh. Don't. He's a lion in sheep's clothing. Just look at it. How am I sure that he's not the one that inflicted this pain on you? Hmm. No, no, no. How? That boy is capable of doing anything, and he calls himself a prince. Nam. It is obvious you don't like him. That's why you accuse him for everything. Well, the answer to your question is no. Is the question did not do this to me? Is the question did not do this to me? In fact, he has been a perfect gentleman on few occasions I have met him. And in him, I see a humble lamb instead of the roaring lion that you all see. Perfect what? Gentleman. A humble kid. Papa humble lamb. That boy is a question. A humble? A perfect? I think something is wrong with you. That boy is a lion. He's a li if I li be careful though. The gentle stride of a lion does not connote stupidity. He's a green snake in the green grass. Hmm. I'm telling you, don't associate with him again. Look, my daughter. I will advise you to associate with a perfect gentleman like uh, Prince Ihejika. Hmm? Take that advice. Uh -huh. uh, no, that's great. Oh, that's one. Papa, are you sure? Are you sure the prince will come and apologize to you just as the king ordered him to? Well, <clears throat> I never expected that that rude, arrogant boy would come and ask me for forgiveness. I never. Papa, he should come home. He better comes. And when he does, Papa, make sure you make him kneel and apologize to you. <clears throat> Let him kneel. Um, yeah, I greet you. I greet you. Did the king send for me? Yes. No, no, the king did not send for me. It's, uh, it's uh, as a question. It's as a question. Uh, he gave us a message to give you. I knew it. What kind of message? He's, he he sends them to do his work. And it's the message. <laughs> the message. <laughs> hey, I mean, Prince Inejika. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, he's gentle, kind, and all of that, but there's something about him. There's something about him that I can't really figure out. I've tried to wrap my head around it, but it's not just working. Chukudu, baby. I can understand. You know, time, time can make you forget certain memories. That thing that you cannot figure out is the good memories of two of you when growing up. So I, I can understand. Look, don't worry. He's a perfect gentleman. By the time you see him, you will understand what I'm saying. Hmm? Hmm? Eh, just relax. Papa, hmm. how are you being sure of all of this? Because... Forget it. Ah, I, I should forget what? Kabo, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing. Hmm. Oh. But to bless you. Ah. Right. Mama, no. Ah. Thank you, my daughter. How is the leg? Mm. Mm. The pain is still there. So how was market today? Mm. Market was good. But things are very expensive, my dear. Mm? As for your leg, mm? <laughs> I believe by tomorrow morning, the pains will reduce. Oh, don't want. Mm? Thank you, mama. My husband. husband, how are you? Oh. I thought I was invisible. <laughs> you came, you were concentrating on our beautiful daughter. Uh -huh. eh? From there, you are talking of the life that uh, one, some boy useless boy who, who calls himself a prince wanted to break. Wait so, so. Oh, but you yeah, 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 yeah. so, ah. are you jealous? Is it jealous your words? Of course he's eh? jealous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how is your own leg? <laughs> are you sick? <laughs> Your Majesty, I know my son is a Kwesere can be rascally, and sometimes very unreasonable. But him hurting the jail candle like this? After you pronounced your punishment on him, if he does not apologize? No, I don't believe it. Are you then insinuating that it's your candle is lying? No, is that what you are insinuating? Maybe he's lying. Because no one can attest to this, apart from him and his son Chinonso. Then what about uh, the guards that he sent to my house? Interrogate them, and they will say the truth. I swear on the throne that I will never forgive your son if I find out that he actually assaulted Ichio Kando. This is a promise. May the gods help you that none of you here is among the people that Princess Zekwisri sent to attack Ichio Kando. Because I am going to skin you alive. Ichio Kando. Your Majesty. Can you identify the fools? You bring your face here. How will you look up this minute? Your Majesty. I'm afraid none of them here was among those that came to my house to attack my son and I. Have you seen it? You're not. Have you seen it? He did that to tarnish the image of my good son. He didn't do anything. As far as I am concerned, that son of yours is a scallywag. He is a recalcitrant idiot. That is what he is. Now listen to me. Tell your son that this matter is not over yet because I am going to get to the root of it. <laughs> Ah, uh -uh. Oga, he don't need to worry. No, 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 that, that one no feel possible, sir. Like this now, eh? we are invisible. Calm down, you know, we are invisible. No worry, no trace. Okay. Okay, boss. All right, all right. No, no, no worry yourself, no worry yourself. Okay. Now, my guy, the coconut, we say, we got to pipe low. According to him, I say, Igwe, and that uh, Ichi Okando, they are looking for us. They go palace, when they uh, sack, they find the people who can do the matter. Like this, now, the latest developments, you know. 
what you can do. Put it like what you just said now. Eh? And for Even us to observe like all that. You understand? Even when I don't don't call. Call. And then, uh, into say uh, ingo wire the asa. We will just do. Uh, like she did my daughter by matter this night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know say uh, for that last job. You know say Baba K never pay us. Baba K never pay for that last matter. We we'll stand tonight. Mm. You know how some matter they do. Now we just run and tear them. See, that money and tear. Mm. You package it there, ba. Hey, we are go package that matter. Oh man! Whoa. <laughs> For this video, mm. this video is really cool. I swear, I'm not how can your father tell me to stop coming to see you? Prince, as a question. I'm one of you. After I have fallen in love, how is that even possible? My friends, I don't know what you're talking about. What has you falling in love got to do with me? Well, you really want me to stop coming to see you? It's my father's decision. I have to respect it. So, can you come to the palace to visit me? You want me to come see you at the palace? Yeah. I want you to come. Visit me anytime you can. Okay, I'll try. I have to leave now before my father starts looking for me. Even when you blow hot, even when I blow cold, understand I move ahead. It's just a hug. Take it easy. Thank you. When your daughter comes back, tell her I was here. Mm. Okay. And if possible, let her see me at the palace tomorrow. <laughs> My prince, it is not a question of if possible. I will tell her to come. As a matter of fact, I will make sure she comes. Eh? Thank you very much, Onowo. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How are you? I heard you broke your ankle, so how are you feeling? I'm getting better, thank you. I would love you to visit me at the palace tomorrow. I have something very important I want us to talk about. My prince, she will come. She's not doing anything tomorrow. I'll make sure she comes, eh? She'll come. Thank you, Olu. Thank you, my friends. Kini kana so, kini kane ke. Aye, this world na vanity. Let go of the strife. Fighting no day pay. Aye. Aye, 
walk in a vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. Aye, this walk in a vanity. Created to be different. You are not your blood, brother. You are not your never ever the same. Oh, Ofunanamu, mano fuchianareke. Brother, you are not your never ever the same. Oh, even when you blow hot, even when I blow cold, understand and move ahead. Oh. It's not like a time bomb that was put. You never can tell me. Phone, how? I don't get it. The phone that I'm not seeing. Your father is not seeing, your mother is not seeing. I don't get that. Phone, how? And that's just stop it. So, what's that? Huh? What I will not do you. All my parents and it's our life. Me, I remember that I am glad it, and that simply means that I am not a kid. I can make my decision. I have seen life, I know what is good for me. So don't tell me how to live my life. Nobody is trying to do it. Your well being is supporting my happiness. Your happiness means a lot to us. I don't want to see you get it out from Princess Emerson. Given his record and his temperament. That's not what you need now, my dear friend. You don't need that. Yes. I think for what I need now is true. Mother, you can't do cash. Mosa has been your friend. He's a better option. That's what I mean. I can't remember telling you I was going to date any of your friends, did I? Fine, it is obvious that you are going to date But I didn't say I was going to date you. Neither am I being known by a person who is So, it's going to be so then. You know, she still loves you and wants you back. I never said so. Yeah, you want to hear. This is the point. I'm fine. Just like that. My dear, what is wrong with you? Why are you I said I'm fine. You get later. Check the bill. 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 Are you trying to tell me that Chidu Ben walked out on me this afternoon because of that arrogant prince Ezekwesiri? Is that what you are trying to tell me? That prince that almost killed me and my father? Attacked you and your father. I don't see the bandage on my head. That guy is a beast, and that is who Jinube wants to leave me for. And as much as she tries to deny it, there is pure obvious. That's the reason. Uh, Even her father is against it. He wants her to look up with him. If there are those who prefer to come, but her heart is with Ezekiel. That girl should not dare me. She should not dare me. After all these years, she wants to ditch me for no other person than Prince Ezekwesiri. She should better know that I will not accept that. I won't! So you have to come down. Please come down. Give yourself together. Maybe you should just try and talk to her. I believe she will listen to you. Just try and talk to her. You don't have to get yourself together. Just come down. Even when you blow hot, even when I blow cold, understand I move ahead. Oh, I'm here to see Prince Ijika. Okay, he's expecting you. Please come to me. Thank you. Hey! 
Wow. You finally decided to bless us with this beauty. Good day, my friends. Good day. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Wow. Please, this way. Ginikana so, ginikaneke. Aye, this was my vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. Aye, this was my vanity. Ginikana so, ginikaneke. Aye, this was my vanity. Let's go of the strife, fighting no day. That's my favorite wine. I'm glad to share it with you. Created to be different. You are Naya blood, brother. You are Naya never ever. Yeah. Cheers to long life and prosperity. Brother, you are Naya never ever the same. Very nice. Yeah, it's my favorite. It has ginger taste and stuff. Understand I move ahead. God. My prince. Where is my visitor? She's in the palace. Where in the palace? As I was bringing her to you as you instructed, we pump into Prince Ezekiel's theory. And it happened that they know each other. Are you saying my visitor is a person? Yes, my prince. You okay? Good afternoon, my prince. Hey. Did I get you angry? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Is my queen looking for me? Yes. She asked me to tell you to come in here. Alright, I'm coming. Are you sure you're okay? I said I'm fine. I see you've been talking to you. What? Yes, I have. And uh, you told me I did. Really? No, so I'm asking, you've been serious right now. Did you 
suddenly forget that he left the moment he got to do the last thing. That was a mistake. You know, a mistake I have made. A mistake I have apologized for several years. Which is said you have forgiven Of course I have forgiven you. But I can't remember telling you that we are getting back together. Did I? Look, no, so just, just stop all of this already. Because it won't work. I have told you in my past and then you will So just stop it. Mimi! Why him? Papa, why him? Why must it always be Prince Ezekwesiri? What wrong have I done to him? Why can't he just leave me alone? Prince Ezekwesiri? What has he done again? Papa, you remember my friend, Jimmy, your nose daughter. What has he done? They are not together. Oh. Papa, they are not together. She told me that today. And she said she doesn't want anything to do with me ever again. All because of that grace. Ah. That boy. His excesses are becoming too much. And the king is not doing anything about it. Oh, you see this one? You see this one? I will never give up. I will never let it go. I will never let it go. Papa, I will fight him with the last drop of my blood. I will fight him, Papa. My son, I'm solidly behind you. Anything you want to do, just do what I'm there for you. No sense, it's becoming too much for him. Fight him with your last blood. Do you know why the king made me a new Do you? <laughs> because I'm a go-getter. Mm. Yes. If I want anything, I go for it. It's good. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be to the detriment of certain things. I know. Not really. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, Dubem, okay. I'm aware that you went to the palace today. So, like we planned, did you have a proper discussion with uh, Prince Ihejika? I saw him, but we didn't discuss anything. What do you mean by you saw him, but you didn't discuss anything? You went to the palace at his instance. He invited you. Don't tell me that you went to the palace to spend your time with that useless uh, Ezequiel or whatever he calls himself. Nah, take it easy. Please take it easy with her. You're pushing it too far. Allow her. Allow her to follow her heartbeat. Easy, nah. Huh? I don't understand you. I should allow her to follow her mind yes. and disgrace me in this community. Is that what you're saying? Huh? Ezekiel theory is like somebody cursed by the gods. And oh God, how I hate that man. I hate him. Nah. How can you bring somebody I hate as my son-in-law? How? Now, Nai, tell yourself the truth. You really don't have any reason for hating Prince Ezekiel theory. Do you? What is it? Huh? Well, Papa, I don't know what you all the people of this village think of Princess Zekwesiri. But for me, he's a very nice person. Can you hear yourself? Huh? He's a nice man, he's a very good person. That cost man. Now, I am your father. And you are going to do exactly as I say. Stay away from that cost man. Or you will have issues with me in this household. You have issues with me. Yes, you are my father, Papa. 
but that does not give you the right to choose or dictate how I live my life. For crying out loud, I am no longer a child. I have my life to live. I can make decisions for myself. What is it? Let really? Me and let me live mine. Can you imagine that? She's walking out on me again. Now, woman, I want you to tell me the truth. Is that girl my daughter? Nah. I've told you before. Take it easy with her. Give her some space. She's old enough. Let her follow her heartbeat for crying out loud. Nah, please. Like the way she followed her heart so non so that almost ruined her life. Now, be careful. This is a different case now. Take it easy. Calm down. Ah. So she's the one. I'm asking you. Ono whose daughter is not the one better than me, right? That you now bring her to the palace. Must you always disrespect me? All because we used to do jibiyaki. Hmm? You don't have to go that lane with me. You know, right? So, jibiyaki is not the word. Oh, jibiyaki is not Please, lame. get your hands off me. Get off my way. I just want to pass. I understand that you feel nothing for me anymore. Hey. I'm still talking to you. Why are you doing this to me? Wow. Fine. I will do all my possible best to get anything that has to do with you off my mind. I just want to tell you the worth of this jacket you just touched. This jacket is worth 3,000 pounds. That's a whooping amount, right? Show some respect. Get off my way. Get the hell out of my way, man. More for you to notice me. No, sorry, my friends. Sorry, my friends. No, that's exactly what it means. Because I just passed and y'all didn't notice me. Because I'm too small, right? No, we're no, sorry. My friends. We're sorry, my friends. Oh, dear. Come, 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 come. Get on your knees now. Yes, my friends. Get on your knees. Yes, my friends. I'm very angry with all of you in this palace. We're now, sorry. everyone will be involved in this corporal punishment. No jokes. Come on. Oh, Don't go oh, on the oh, wall. Oh, come on, the wall. Kneel. My friends. My priest, you know how to greet. No, sorry. I call this on respect. Fools. Y'all don't know your description of Christ. Your prayer Come right. Turn your head. Turn your head. Slow, 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 slow. Go! <laughs> um. I'm not traveling anytime soon. I have a lot to do in Nigeria for now. Sorry, let me call you back. What is the meaning of this? I'm sure my brother is behind this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything's fine. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, fine. Some of our servants are kneeling under the sun. And I know that's my baby brother's work. I need your permission to set them free. You are as a person And that automatically gives you the right and the authority 
to ask them to rise up without you coming to ask my permission. Mm, but that will be ridiculing his royal privilege. A privilege that he is ridiculing every day. Anyway, um, go and tell them. And I said they can go about their normal duties. Thank you, Father. This is the main reason why Prince Ihejika will always remain my favorite prince in this palace. Eh? Just look, look at the way he set us free. Eh? But Prince is a question. That one. The state and human form, I swear, I hate Prince is a question with everything in me. If you ask me, I'll say we stop this discussion before Prince is a question and we go with his friends uh -huh. hear us. No and we all know that would be very bad for us. You are right. I have had a lot for today. Because they are just too adorable. They are right. Who is? Let's go back to our people. I hate Ezekwesiri and Ugo. I hate them! Bro. Right words, or better still, the sweet words that will make you feel like a woman. But trust me, everything you seek in a real man lies in here. I also understand the fact that you and my brother are friends. But that does not change the fact that I have feelings for you. Chidubem. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the mother of my unborn children. Will you marry me? Uh, my prince, I I was not expecting this. You you took me on a race. Yes, because real men go straight to the point. No need of beating around the bush. I want to marry you, and trust me, you will never regret any bit of it. Remember, all that glitters are not gold. I'm sorry, my prince. I can't give you an answer that you seek now. That is because I already have feelings for your brother, Prince Ezekwesiri. And I believe the feeling is mutual. Just like she said, it is good you give her time to think about what you ask of her. Marriage is not what you just rush into like that. You need time to build it, work on it, then you come up with the right decision. So please, my friends, easy. Give her time to think. Marriage is not something you rush into. So take your time, darling. Take your time. But I want you to think about it properly. My daughter, do not rush thus. Take your time and take the best decision for yourself. Is that clear? Let's go. 
go of the strife, fighting no day pay. Aye, this world na vanity, guinea can a zone, guinea can a care. Aye, this world na vanity, let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. Are you mad? Yes. Are you are, 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 are you stupid? <sighs> Who told them to stand up? It's Prissy Ejika, my prince. Prissy Ejika. Yes, sir. Oh, no. My prince it's finished. It's finished. Prissy Ejika. Ejika. Yeah. Where's the Ejika? Can you imagine? I told I told some guys to kneel down. Ejika ordered them to stand. You flaunted my orders. Can you can, can, can you imagine? What is going on here, son? You, you just want to pull down the, 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 the palace? Is did, that what you want to did do? Did you hear what I said, father? Ejika ordered the people I asked to kneel down to stand. Why? Oh, would you shut up and stop ranting? I ordered them to stand. How could you kneel them down under the sun for such a long time? How could you do a thing like well, that? Well, I know that is what you're going to say because he's your favorite son. The guy just said Iyejika ordered them to stand up. And why, why, why are you trying to back him? I asked him to tell them to stand up. And if you want to be my good son, you better start behaving like one. He didn't do it. Iyejika did. He's only trying to back him up. But I already know what happened. Tell him not to cross my speed lane, cause it's serious ghastly. Gone too soon. That was too wrong. That was absolutely wrong. What do you mean? You didn't handle it the right way. You got it all wrong. No, that wasn't right at all. The point is this. If you want your son to be given the same treatment and attention, like his brother, you have to talk to him. Talk to him, let him start living like a responsible man. Until then, it is just a news and the palace, and you know it. Your Majesty, you have not ceased to amaze me. Amaze you? Yes. How you have suddenly forgotten. All the good days, the glorious days, Ezekiel, my son, has brought into this royal home. Really? Just because of one singular mistake. As if your precious son, Ejeka, has not been making mistakes. Now, did you listen to yourself as you're talking? Of course, I am listening to myself as I'm talking. Now, did you just say glorious days? Of course. Now, can you mention just one glorious day that your son brought to the palace? No, just one day. Now, as far as I am concerned, you know it too. Your son is nothing but a disgrace to the palace. There's not something we argue about. You know it. I know why you're sounding like this. I know why you're treating my son with so much hate. Because he is not the son of your precious one. I know you still miss her. I can see it in your eyes. And Collie, would you stop? No. You, you, you know this is not true. We've gone past this long ago. You know it. You are the one that I love. You know it. I know nothing. Trust me, I know nothing. If you love me, you love my dog. If you truly love me like you said, like you claim, you love my son. You don't be treating my son with this kind of hate and you claim you love me. Even when he is behaving like a madman? My son is not a madman. He is overwhelmed by youthful exuberance. He's just a child. Nkoli, I, I, I think you're getting something wrong here. Hmm. Listen, it's, it's not that I, I hate your son. You do. I love your son as much as I love you. Then prove it. What I want is the best for him. Can't you see it from that light? It's not true. You're just loving Peter to be poor. Transferring all the love you have for my son. You should have for my son to Ejika. That's not what you think. I want the best for him. That is true. 
It's not true. Like I said, also is in my past. And there will he remain. So stop interceding for him because it won't work. Chidibu, I know you're doing this because of Prince Ezra. But make sure you're not. Make Allow it. me to make the mistake, Olu Ibubi. Allow me. Is it your mistake? Wait, what am I even talking about? You're a very beautiful woman. And I'm sure you and Nosso will make a perfect couple. So you guys link up already and leave me alone. I don't want her. It's you that I want. Chidubem, please, don't leave me. I love you. I don't love you and I don't want you. Can't you understand? Just leave me alone. And for you, the next time you bring him here, I will end whatever relationship we share. Dubem. Ben, I will not allow that arrogant prince to take you away from me. Never! Your Majesty, the Queen has been complaining about the constant removal of Prince Ezekwesili on important meetings like this. Yes, um, Prince Ezekwesili, my brother, is also a member of this royal household. So I suggest we carry him along in things like this. He will not be carried along until he learns to view himself as the prince that he is. Your Majesty, my source told me that the governor is back from his travel. And I believe this is the best time for us to go and see him concerning the land. The teachers has not been paid. And our roads keeps getting dilapidated every day. We have to see him and discuss this and many more. Exactly, Your Majesty. Just as we have all agreed to meet the governor, I suggest we proceed immediately. Well, I have heard you all. As a matter of fact, I am already making arrangements for this trip. I will not allow this easy person to snatch my girlfriend. Never! I will fight both of them whatever it will cost. Oh, so this is not just about fighting. Even if you manage to have your way in the best life, she will never love you. She will never love you. And living with her is better than watching her with that arrogant choice. <laughs> I just hope you're not making this sense. Urias, Urias, your candidate is not great, Mister. So, fight whoever you need to fight to get what belongs to you. I am solid in the end. Yay! Ben has always been fine. She was continuing to be fine. And so it's not my fault. I just say the things I did. Gini kana so, gini kane ke. I this world na vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. I need you to do me a favor. 
out anything from your place. I need you to go pick Duben. Yeah? Okay. The idea is to surprise her and my mother. Okay. Yeah. So, um, say 1 p.m. You should be there. Right? That's fine by me, my prince. Very good. By that time, the queen will be sleeping. You got me covered, right? Yeah. I got you covered. I'll bring her over. Thank you. I'm a prince. Peace. Understand I move ahead. Oh, hi. Strive, fighting no day pay. Aye, this work na vanity. Guinea can as all, Guinea can eke. Aye. Outside, should you need anything, just speak to me, okay? Yeah, thanks. Wow, you look beautiful. Have a seat. Yes. <laughs> Mind me. So that's how it is, you mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'll get across to you tomorrow. Before 10. Yeah, before 10, I'll get across to you, okay? All right, man. Thanks, huh? Take care. What do you want? He took my womanhood. And now he's leaving me for her. All this started happening the day you came back with him. You talked him out of my life. And I ask, why? You know what wrong have I done to you? I don't know what you're talking about. I advise you go away because the prince doesn't want to be disturbed. Okay. I'll go. But knowing that I'm not going to back down, I must take the part of my flesh. Good luck with that. Who took the money I kept in the wardrobe? Who did? Because that money is meant for the team that is going to see the governor. I'm talking to you. Who took the money? I don't know who took the money. How would I know? How did I didn't take your money? Father, you know I can't touch your money without your consent. I'm beginning to search. I think I can trust you. 
And where is your son's equestry? Meaning? You know that he is capable of doing anything. Really? Oh, yes. And your precious son in Hechika is not capable of doing anything. How could you do a thing like that? Why would you always brand my son a thief? My son is not a thief. You know that my son can never take anything that does not belong to him. But you and I know that he is the only one that is capable of doing this. You know it. Really? And the Hechika is not capable of doing anything. He's now a saint. It's high time you stopped this nonsense. I won't take it again from anybody. You do you bring in my son down. You what have not this? answered my question. Where is your son? I don't know. He didn't take your money. You look like a first lady. You know, green is actually my favorite color. Now here you are looking so exquisite. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're beautiful, girl. Can you please take off your glasses? I want to see. <laughs> I, I can't really please. look you in your eyes. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you make a strong man shy. <laughs> you know, I have a gift for you. Yeah. I bought it from a mountain in Senegal. Oh. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. You see it. <laughs> wow. Wow. You like this? That. Seen it yourself. Your, your, your you were busy defending that your rascal of a son. Meanwhile, he's the one that actually stole the money to impress his girlfriend. Have you seen it? Your Majesty, I, I, I believe there's a mix up somewhere. She will agree with me that our son has never stolen before. He, he, my son can be anything, but not a thief. He's not a thief. Now, listen to me. Like I said before, I am going to punish him according to the laws of the land. I will. I have spoken. Why would this boy put me into this kind of mess? Why? What happened? And you stop, 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 stop there, idiot. How dare you? You made him stole to impress you. You pushed my son into stealing so that he will impress you. You daughter of a nobody. How dare you? Listen and listen, God. Stay away from my son. Live his life. I get away. Thank you. Get out. Shut. Look at her. As if you know the value of whatever he gave you. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. I have this Meaning what? So you say I'm the one who said it, Abi? Miss Ezequestri has really done the most. He's come of silver from this time around. Do you need to impress him when you get through the most shocking part of it all? Don't you know that he's in competition with his brother over that girl? I only pity Ungo who has lost that it on every angle. Before Uncle, everybody knows that that girl will lose at the end. Brother, you and I are never ever the same. Even when you blow hot, even when I blow cold. Understand and move ahead, oh, high, high, high. Can I so? Can I make it? I this one 
of my vanity let go of the strife fighting no day day ah this work na vanity kini kana zo kini kana ke ah this work na vanity let go of the strife fighting no day day ah this work na vanity Oh, I have never been this embarrassed in my life. I mean, who does that? Who steals to impress the woman? Who? Stages of life, okay? It depends on his mentality. But he has stress times. Pop him first. Please come. I told you all that glitters is not gold. Tell me now, but check on my camera. No, no, no. This was na vanity. Let go of the strife. Fighting no day pay. Ah, this was na vanity. You know me too well. Do you believe I can steal what doesn't belong to me? No, not at all, my prince. You, you can't do such a thing. Do you believe I'm not contented with what I have? Of course you're contented. Very good. So why is no one believing me? I believe my son, I believe you. You know your father, you know he has his reservations about you. But I want you to pull yourself together and prove to him that you're far better than Hijika. I know you're a good boy. I want you to prove that to him. It's okay. Do you think I stole the money? No, you didn't. Deep down, you believe I didn't yes, steal the money? Yes, I believe you didn't steal it. That's fine. Listen to the girl, I understand how you feel. It's okay. Whenever I need anything, follow me. When I say anything, I need anything. Just call on me any time in the day. Okay? You are not strong. I know you are strong, but definitely. Okay? Thank you. Listen to me. Listen to me. You are a beautiful woman.
play the fast one on me. You know, it's not whose calls are the first half wins the game. What happens is the outcome when the final whistle is blown. There's a question, what are you talking about? When you're asking me, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you asking me? Did you just ask me that stupid question? You don't know what you did? Guy, I'm a carnivorous soul. Normally, I like it raw. You overstepping your boundaries. I am warning you. What am I saying? I'm fucking fuck. Look. Last warning. Last warning. think I'm drunk, so you come and seduce me, right? Can you please stop? Get out of here! Go away! Out! What's it? Why are you doing this to yourself, to a woman who doesn't value or distrust you? Baby, stop! You're going to injure yourself! Hey! Get out!
cheat with them. Why are you avoiding him? Huh? You're supposed to face him head on. Look, you need to look at him face to face and tell him that it is over between two of you. I mean, what happened shouldn't have happened. Okay? You are supposed to be with uh, Prince Ihejika and not uh, that pompous, arrogant Ezekiel. Papa, can, can you stop? Is it possible you just stop? You're driving me into insanity with these quibbles from you. Look, these quibbles you're talking about is for your own good. Okay? I mean, I, I desire but... something better. <sighs> Yes, I'm securing a better future for you and your unborn children. Pick the phone and tell him off. Papa, please just stop. I'm not ready for all of this. Just stop. Please yourself. this information. Have you forgotten I have a friend that works at the palace? He is not just arrogant, but a thief. Mm -hmm. I heard he did that because he was at war with his elder brother over a girl. Over a girl? Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. So he stole his father's money because of a girl? I also heard the money was not just for his father. It was for a government project. Uh -uh. What sort of a prince is this? Chineke. It's been a couple of days since I made my intention known to you and your people about making you my wife. So I am here to find out what is delaying my yes. My prince. Given the sudden turn of events, I don't think you have anything to worry about. She will surely say yes to you, but she needs time to heal things. Give her time. I know she needs time to heal from the horrible encounter she had with my baby brother, Ezekosu. But at the same time, don't you think that saying yes to me will help her healing process? Mm. Because having in mind that she will become the next queen of this land will make her heal fast. New champion. My friends, you're actually not far from the truth. But still, she needs time to heal. 
A day or two will hurt no one. Sure. Take your time, darling. It's all good. My prince, just like Mama said, I need some time, please. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Yeah. Hey, stop! Where exactly do you think you're going? Am I under house arrest? No, son, you're not under any house arrest. What I'm saying is you should tell us where you are going. At least that is all we ask for. Well, you shouldn't ask me. Don't ask me, right? Respect privacy. His father saying about it. Hmm. They say that the king only shouted at him and not him. Only shouted. It will not end there. We have laws in this land. Exactly my point. Let's follow this up and punish him. Okay. I will ask my father if I will. If he asks you to come to me, please go back to him. For I have nothing to say to you or him. Are you sure? Or are you just lying to yourself because you feel betrayed? You could believe what you think. But trust me, you need to give him a chance to explain himself. For what you feel. Is false. Yeah. Just let him explain himself. <coughs> Dude, what are you doing? Nothing, my prince. Do we not see you later, man? My prince, how are you doing? I'm fine, my love. Sorry I kept you waiting. I was talking with my father. It's fine. There is nothing one will not hear in this kingdom. So Chidubem left me, dumped me for a prince who stole his father's government project money to impress her. You know, I'm surprised at this year. It happened like three to four days ago. I am just, I am just hearing it now. 
Now, have you seen the kind of person you went to? When I see her, I will laugh at her. I will laugh at her. Oh, yes. She got what she deserved. Anyways, before you conclude, she's not going out with the secret camp. So soon. I believe that the Igwe would like to squash the fact that Prince Ezekiel is in this country. The government will not be It is you, the elders, who are supposed to be punishing the prince. Hmm. My son, so, we have to get something right here. Are you very sure that Ezekiel actually stole and put that one? Papa! <laughs> This rumor is everywhere in Umuj. I wonder why you, my father, has not heard it. This thing happened three days ago. Three days ago, Papa. Papa, see. All you need to do is gather some elders. Go and meet the people and make sure that you get revenge for the insult that is in the city. Make it on this family. Okay. I will meet a few elders and Confirm this information that you have just given. And if it comes out to the truth, then it means you walk straight to the palace and demand an answer from the people. Very good, now. Do just that. Opportunity is a constant. That's right. And this is our golden opportunity to get revenge on that place. I'm making a point there, my son. Princess brought this to us. Which of them? Princess, Prince. <laughs> You have heard? <laughs> Hi. And I'm aware that he stole the money just to impress you. I am aware. Yeah. And it is also true that he stole that money just to impress my daughter. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, in that case, what has the king done to punish him for stealing the money that was meant for the government project in the, in the kingdom? So I know that the, the people of Umuchu take stealing as a serious offense. The answer to your question is none. The Igwe has not said anything. He has not done anything. And I ask myself, are we going to allow this matter lie low just like that? If we do, are we ready to embrace the consequences as a result of this precedence that the prince has just set in this kingdom? Today is government money that he has stolen. What is he going to steal tomorrow? Nobody knows. In that case, we should go to the palace. Let's meet the king. Let him give us an answer. Come. And what punishment is he going to make to this man for stealing our money according to the laws of the, king, of the, of, of the land? Exactly. That is what we are going to do. He must tell us what he's going to do to that son of his. Yeah. If not, this kingdom is in trouble.
Your Majesty, a man with an enlarged scrotum does not boast of his sexual prowess. The reason is simple. It is understandable that uh, that ailment is as a result of the cause by the gods or he inflicted it on himself. But what we don't understand is why he's hiding it, knowing full well that he's carrying Ibi. Hello. Your Majesty. If I tell you that I do not comprehend what you're saying, you may think I'm lying. Ah. But that's simply the truth. Can you please paraphrase your words so that you could be more specific? It's all right, Your Majesty. Um, I will expatiate so that you can comprehend what I am telling you. Oh, no. It's about your son. Prince Ezekwesio. Rumor has it within the palace and outside the palace that he was caught with the government money meant for the development of our community. As a matter of fact, he stole the money as we had it and he was caught with it. What we don't understand is why you have decided not to call a cabinet meeting for us to address the issue properly, investigate and um, place proper sanctions that he deserves as warranted by the laws of the land. Or are you saying that your son is above the laws of the land? Oh no. Can you look me in the eyes and tell me whoever told you that my son stole the money? Because the last time I checked, I have not called the elders to inform them that my son stole the money. Neither have I made any public announcement as to the fact that my money is missing. Peradventure, my son stole my money. How did you come to the conclusion that it was the money meant for the project? And how did you come about that? Now, I want to give us this advice, my elders. Do not allow rumors that are capable of tearing us apart to begin to make the rounds. Uh, Your Majesty, are you saying that Prince Ezequiel did not steal any money? That was what I just said. And I thought you heard me. Or do you want me to repeat myself? No, should I repeat myself? No, Your Majesty. Did you notice that I came to the palace to protect my son? As if it was God. When my daughter came home, she felt so ashamed of herself because of the incident. Hmm? Why should the king? Protect as a person. A thief is a thief. And to be punished according to the laws of the law. You said it all, a thief is a thief. Come to think of it. The king is the chief custodian of the land. So why protect him? As you eh? He is making it sound as if eh, it's his money that is true. Forgetting that that money was the money the government gave to us for the development of our community. That's it. Now, even if it is you know you can still do that. Oh. You don't know. Now, if you cook, then you dip your hands inside you bring up the best. You watch that. Nobody will see you. Throw it inside your mouth. Clean your mouth. You look around. It's confirmed. Have you not stolen it? It's confirmed. It's a thief. And it must be punished according to the law of no. the land. No. Talk to Ezequiel because the next time he will do something like that to bring the elders to disrepute, I will simply hand it over to them so that they will treat him according to the laws of this land. That is to say that I will no longer protect your son again. Except he's ready to turn a new leaf. He will face the wrath of the people. I hope you have not forgotten that the people hate your son so much. I must just thank you. 
I promise to talk to him right away. Don't hide him over this. Do not go to this extent. You have to know that in the name of Christ. Do not say that I did not want you. I'm sorry for calling you out this late though. Dubim has not been picking my calls. She has been snubbing me after that incident. My prince, Dubim has been passing through a lot. People are making mockery of her in the village. Saying that she's a friend to a thief. What? Yes, my prince. Even the other day, Nonso was just laughing at her, making mockery of her. It was so embarrassing. Who is Nonso? Ichi Okando's son. My prince! Now listen! Now listen! The next time I see you close to my woman! Talking about. What is the meaning of this madness? Sorry, I'll, I'll call you back. So why do you have to go and beat up Joe Anderson? Even to the point of death? You actually wanted to kill him or something? Well, to be truthful, I don't really know what I what I wanted to do if I wanted to kill him or not. But I'm very sure I'm going to do it again, Father. If he dares assault my woman, he works like that. Wait, let me get this clear. You actually wanted to kill Jinonso because of a woman? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, I know that is what you're going to say. You will never support me. You have never liked me as your son. You only support Igejika, but you know that is a lie. That's true, father. It's a lie! You know that you have a questionable character. And you know the reason I prefer your brother to you. You know it! Please don't say that again. He is not my brother. I wasn't a business called father. He disrupted my phone. It's a question. They should do something about this arrogant prince. Why would they even do that? But Nonso should not have her last debate. It was harsh for Christ's sake. Hmm. See, let me tell you something. If I am the one that all these things are happening to, like I would have done something drastic to that prince. Don't even go there. If it were to be you, all this are happening to you, do not say no that other than report to the king. We should end up being discussed and nothing to show for it. You guys are saying all this because you are yet to know exactly what I'm made of. Mike, forget that thing. I, Annabelle, will run away from anything that will bring me closer to the arrogant friend. Sell with me. We are yet to see. Out of my way! Are, are, are you stupid? How dare you block my way? Are you, are you not or something? My face, I'm sorry. The, the, the car just break, then I cannot carry it. And so what? what? What do you want me to do then? My friend, let me just help you. Are you, are you, are you out of your mind? Do you want to touch your your hand in this miserable gallop? You? 
my MIB refused. Just uh, let me hold this thing, please. Hey! 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 Present the question! Hey! 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 Insult me! Hi! So uh, why are you crying like a baby? And look at the way you parked your car. What is the, what's the problem? Oh no! I'm so fat! Oh no! My car don't break down. Huh? Little Prince is a person that I was among the delegate that went to marry his mother. Pushed me! Insulted me! Was beating me like a baby on the road! Oh no! Why? What's the question you did that? Hey! Hey! I oh, no, said it. This boy, I Hi. said it is evil. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Hi. Calm down. You know what? Eh? Tomorrow, I will take you to the Ibu so that you will personally tell him this story you are telling me now. That boy must be dealt with. Hey! Oh no. Ah. This is not acceptable in this case. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. So what's wrong with your car? Let's look at it. What's wrong with it? I, 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 I Hi. Hi. I just decided to stroll. Majesty, are you sure of what you just said? That Princess Zekwesu assaulted him yesterday? Your Majesty, Inze Okoli is here to corroborate what I am saying. But if you think I am lying, you can call the Prince to verify for yourself. God! God! Go and tell Princess Equestry that I want him in the palace now. Yes, Your Highness. These are better be a lie. Your Majesty, are you insinuating that I'm lying? Chopped off the jacket. You. What are you doing here? So you remember him? Of course I do. Is it with you? How could you do something as despicable as this to an honorable man of this kingdom? Oh, Father, come on. Why not ask me what happened? Come on, man. You take a chill pill and try not to be up in the heel. Well, if you must know, this man right here jumped on my speed lane and that's serious ghastly. Oh, will you shut up? How dare you still raise your voice at him in my presence? Now, do you know who this man is? Do you know the sensitive position he occupies in this kingdom? Do you know that? I really now, listen, let, let me tell you something. You have to publicly apologize to him. Otherwise, you will see the other side of me. Because I am going to punish you according to the laws of the land. <laughs> That's a joke, right? Yeah, I know you're joking, father. Can't get out of my presence. I was already good. But, but you, uh, listen to me. You have 72 hours to do this. Otherwise, like I said, you will see the other side of me. Get out of my presence! What 
nonsense. Your, your Majesty. I appreciate your concern, please. But you wouldn't have made such a demand of him. You know, he's my prince. And one day he might also be my king. And so what? <laughs> if he knows that he will become a king someday, let him start to learn. What do you guys think? What do you girls think? You think you can talk my father into humiliating me in public? Huh? Apology my foot. Now listen, instead of apology, there will be tragedy. And nobody apologizing to any fool. Not me, not even my household. Precise the question. Are you conversant with the consequences of this your threats? Yes, you are threatening him. Should anything happen to him, should any harm befall him, get out from here. Should any harm befall him, I will summon you before the gods. Trust me on that. Do I look like I care? Now, back to what you just said. Do I look like I care? Yeah. I don't give a damn. I don't care about you, silly gods. I don't care about any of that. Look at me. I'm looking. Does it look like I care? I'm saying it again to you, old man. Instead of me to apologize. Instead of apology, there will be tragedy. Apology, my foot. Look at them. You're waiting for apology. Public apology. <laughs> my girls. I won. I was winning, though. That's what I don't know what she's doing. I don't want him to come and apologize to me. Let the ghost judge him. What, what are you talking? Huh? What, what, are, you, are you like a chicken? You are chickening out? He has to apologize. That is the proper thing to do. Then it is left for you to forgive him or not. Ah, I don't need it. I don't need this apology. And I'm not afraid of him. But I fear what the ghost will do against him. He don't know what he's doing. Well, it's all right. Um, I want to go and see Prince uh, Hejika. Hmm? So just wait for me. I'll, I will come. Okay? Yeah. By the time you return, I may, I may have come. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You, you, you go away. Okay? All right. All right.
the bold statement by Chris, as in this. How could you threaten a titled and retired man of Umunshu? A man that is above community services is a cool. Huh. I really think this as a person has crossed the line at this time around, and they can't do it. What even happened in the first place? This so cool is a peaceful man. How did he end up in this place as a place? This madness. Gossiping about the prince is disrespecting my auntie. Do you understand? Yes, my prince. My brother, let's see. Please. Yes. I hope you have something good for me. I heard what happened between you and Zoko. It's a shame that something like that happened. And you went too far by threatening his life after Father asked you. That. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I like to call someone to order. Same way I always call you to order before doing anything. I told that fool not to step into my speed lane because he's serious, ghastly. Still, he went ahead to do it. All right, um, I want you to relax, okay? I will talk to Father about this. It's wrong for people to see his son apologizing to his subject. So please calm down, I'll talk to Father, okay? Do I look like I'm going to apologize? I don't apologize. I'd rather kill than to apologize. But since you said you're going to talk to father, looks like I'm going to allow you to do it. Thank you very much. My prince. He said he wanted to talk to my father. I think it's a good idea. Me too. Me too. I think it's a very good idea as well. You always think it's a good idea. You have never said it's a bad idea. Just too much. But it's way out of hand. Very, very embarrassing and humiliating. Not just to, to him, but to your name as a king of this community and as the father of this boy. You know what? If that boy, that rascal you call your son, is truly carrying my blood in his veins, he would learn to respect elders. That is the point I'm trying to prove. What are you trying to say that you're not his father? Are you questioning his paternity or something? I did not say that. So what are you saying? I am not questioning his biological formation. I love him as a father. But what I'm trying to say is that he should be leading by example. I think I am done with you. I don't want to have this discussion with you again. Instead, I want you to go to your son. Make him do what I have commanded. If he does not do it within the stipulated time, 
I can assure you that I will so punish him for assaulting an elder of this land. Not only that, he threatened his life after I asked him to go and beg him for forgiveness. Above all, for defaulting my orders, not just as his father, but as the king of this land. I will so punish him. Where have you been all afternoon? As if you care. My love, I care so much. I love you. You're my pride, you're my everything. Your happiness is my paramount concern. I know you were not happy, that was why you acted the way you did towards Ijiokuni. Let it go. Tell me what to do to make you happy again. I want you to be happy. You see that girl I was with, the day father accused me of stealing his money. That girl is my life. She left me that day. Now you tell me, is there any reason for me to still leave? How for wrong accusation. Even you still don't believe I didn't do it. I know why y'all think I'm gonna steal my father's money. Thank you, Amy. How is your father? He's fine. I am very, very sorry for the other day. I am so sorry. Oh, please. Forgive me. Forgive the way I acted the other day. seen it yourself. You, 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 your majesty. You were busy defending that your rascal of a son. Meanwhile, he's the one that actually stole the money to impress his girlfriend. Have you seen it? Your majesty, I, I, I believe there's a mix-up somewhere. You will agree with me that our son has never stolen before. He, he, my son can be anything, but not a thief. He's not a thief. Now listen to me. Like I said before, I am going to punish him according to the laws of the land. I will. I have spoken. Why would this boy put me into this kind of mess? Why? What happened? And you stop, 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 stop there, idiot. How dare you? You made him stole to impress you. You pushed my son into stealing so that he will impress you. You daughter of a nobody. How dare you? Listen and listen, God. Stay away from my son. Live his life. Now get away. Get out. Idiot. Look at her. As if you know the value of whatever he gave you. I was overwhelmed. I never knew my son held in such a high esteem. And ever since that day, that thing happened. He has been a shadow of himself. He has refused to eat. He's only living on alcohol. And you know what that means? His life is hanging on the line. Save my son. Please, I beg you. I don't want to lose my son. You're the only remedy he needs at this point in time. 
You're a woman, you know what it means to lose one's son. Your Highness, it's, it's fine. You won't lose him. Ruben, when did you get here? Not quite long, my friends. Nice. It's good that Finn you are here because I wanted to come pick you up and present it to my parents. So you're welcome. Please sit. No, we can't. What is it? Why can't I have peace of mind in this palace without you and dad hovering around me? Please just calm down. Just that the woman was here to see me. I want you to be happy again. I want you to find happiness. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You, you, you mean she came here? Mm-hmm. I had to iron the part. I caught in your happiness. Listen, she make you a good wife. She's a beautiful maiden. She make me a beautiful daughter-in-law. Ruben. Help me. Am I a good mother now? No longer a pest, right? Excuse me. Man, who are just spoke to me? Huh? It's your gun. Did you just call me a madman? Is something wrong with you? Anyway, I will forgive you this time. Don't dare it next time. To your question, is it not that uh, is our okay? that I am trying to help, but his cowardice will not let him be? Ah, oh no, you and I know that Unze Okoli. Might be poor, but he's never a coward. So what happened? Really? If he's not a coward, why is he shying away from his responsibilities? Huh? He was assaulted by uh, that stupid idiot, uh, is a question. But he is shying away from it. He doesn't want us to make the, the right punishment on him. Uh, uh, 
Prince Ezekwesiri. Assaulted Mzeokoli. Your mom told me everything you've been through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I was not there for you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine now. I should be the one to say sorry. I'm deeply sorry for the embarrassment you all feel because of me. I miss you too. No, I miss you too. Let me get you the gift I bought for you. You know, I couldn't give it to you that day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's made of wind. It's so beautiful. This is pure wood, man. Pure wood. Oh, I love you. Thank you. There's <laughs> some crest in the bag. I'm glad you love it. I know it looks manly though, but... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I first wouldn't know. After I took this up to make the king to complain about how that idiot is a question. Assorted. The king decreed that he should apologize. That is, is a question he should apologize to Okoli in public. But now Okoli is telling me that uh, he's no longer interested in making that stupid boy to crawl and beg him. Huh? Why has... Why has Nze Okoli suddenly turned yellow? When you would have just used the opportunity to, to tame this arrogant prince. Exactly my point. Eh? Why? I mean... That boy. That boy. I will not forgive him. Not after he has insulted me. He needs to be taught a lesson. Anyway. I will talk to him. Maybe he will listen to me. That's a good idea. Talk to him if you can. Okay? And right now, I think um, even though I will talk to him, it won't be now because I am famished already. I need to go home, take something because I didn't eat in the morning before. It's all right. It's all right. You can go and eat. But after talking to him, make sure you get back to me. Give me feedback. Okay? No problem. So I'll get back. I believe. So take care. Where is she and what game are you playing? Will you shut up and stop believing yourself? She was never supposed to be yours in the first instance. You stole her from myself. And right now, I've returned her to whom she truly loves. Seriously? Yes. Listen, mother, you're pushing me. Don't let me lose the respect I have for you. Really? Yes. And what do you think a loser like you can do? What do I do with your respect? Give it to the dogs. Your mother tried it. And she failed. And how do you think you herself will succeed where your mother failed? Losers. All right. Excuse me. We shall see about that. She should. Nothing will happen. Oh, yeah, 
I want to talk to you in private. And what's that supposed to mean? Princess Equestria, only a fool will take a man's meekness from the fools. That I always keep mute it does not mean I don't know what to do. You are picking more than you can chew. Be careful. The patient dog eats the fattest bone is not for me though, because I won't allow you to eat the fattest bone. She's not going anywhere. What an answer, Diabala. Go change the walk on us. I'm losing it. Be careful. Be not your bad luck, Coco. Brazy boom, Mugo. Say whatever you want to say here if it's very important. My, my love, my love, what's going on? What's going on? I thought you came here to see me. Please, I beg you, don't disgrace me. I already told my father that you are in the palace. Don't disgrace me before my people, please. My prince, you are a very good man. But my heart is with your brother, Prince Ezi Please, I need you to understand and just forget about me. What did the Queen say to you? What did she promise you? I can double it. Listen, you can't do this to me. Do you want to disgrace me before my people? Please don't go, okay? My prince, the queen did not say anything to me. She said nothing to me. She only made me understand my mistake by not believing the man I love when he was facing trial. I'm sorry, my prince. I pray that God give you a good woman that will love you. I'm sorry. Chidubem. Chidubem. Father, the governor's aide called me and said we should come next tomorrow by 11 a.m. to meet with the governor. This indeed is good news. I will pass the information to Ichi Ikago because I want you to go with him. Thank you very much, son. You're welcome, Father. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Your Majesty. I can beg him, I can force him to come and apologize to you. Rather than make him go through this. Oh, he's, he's the prince of Omoju Kingdom. How can he cross hell? Before a common man, a wretched man in this community. If what you are insinuating is for me to let your son go scot free, that rascal of your son, after insulting and assaulting an elder in this kingdom, the worst of all is, he disobeyed my orders. I think you're making a blind plea because I will never listen to you. Your Majesty, please, I beg you. It's still me. I, 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 I can force him to come and apologize to you. But I will make him go through this. You have to grovel before a common man, a wretched man in this community. Come on. Let me hide him there, sir. That it will kill his career. Excuse me, father. Okay, sir. I'm proud of you. First of all, it will interest you to know that you are the one that has pampered this boy to become the kind of man that he is today. He is all I have got. 
He is all you have. That is what you normally say, not minding the fact that you are leading him astray. Now you've made him feel so, so pompous. Thank God you are here. See, this time around, we are going to force the question to accept our demand. He must not go scot free. Where is Okoli? We must convince Okoli to support us. Huh? Is he sick? What? Dead? What killed him? So it's called Bone Street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Yeah, it's Bone Street. Oh! <laughs> I'm stopped. No, I'm not stopped. I'm stopped. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> What exactly are you saying? What I'm saying is that as we speak, the youths are protesting vehemently. Protesting? Yes. <laughs> and all fingers are pointing at your son, Princess Equestria. Why? Yeah, because. How is that? Because Princess Equestria is the only visible enemy of Ichiokoli, coupled with the fact that he had earlier threatened to kill him. Your Highness. Let's calm the youths first and call your son for question. Ezekwesuri, where were you last night? My room. You were supposed to go and publicly apologize to Tiokoli. And now he is dead. How do we reconcile it? And so I am asking you again, where were you last night? And I answer again, I was in my room. I do not know what you're talking about. Have you forgotten that you threatened to kill him a few days ago? Exactly. And you fulfilled that threat by killing him just because you want to escape from the humiliation you will get from groveling at his feet for forgiveness. What nonsense are you talking about? I just said I was in my room. Will you swear before the Academy shrine? That you did not kill him. And if I refuse to swear, what will you do? Huh? 
No, 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 I need to know. What will you do? I just said I was in my room. What nonsense are you talking about? Isaac Quisri, the only way to prove your innocence is for you to swear before the deity. Otherwise, I would allow the elders to punish you according to the laws of the land. But I'm not surprised. I know you hate me so much. I am not your favorite son. So why won't you support them? Why? Prince Ezequesiri, the question is very simple. Are you taking the oath or not? Okay, fine. If that will make your miserable lives happy. No, my son. You can't. No, mom, I will. No, 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 don't. Ekemiri is a merciless deity. It will strike you dead on the spot. And I don't want to lose you, please, my son. Let's find a way of reconciling this matter. Please, don't I beg you, don't. I beg you. That's if I'm guilty. I know you're not guilty. I know. I beg you. I beg you. What is he thinking? Hmm? By accepting to swear before he can marry. Know you for well he's knocking at death's door. Do you know what it means? It means I'm going to leave. I'm going to lose my only son. Stop crying. I will try my best. I will try to convince him not to take the oath. How? Please, I, I beg you, help me beg him not to take that oath. There are other ways to solve this matter. Rather than swearing, he shouldn't swear. He can confess to it, everyone will forgive him. Stop crying. I want to know. How long will it take you to realize that you are not meant to be with Prince Ezra Kwesri? Because each time you get closer to him, he lands himself into trouble. Why not just stay far away from him if you claim to love him so much? I hear love in your voice. And I ask, why? Why did his mother's personal need allow herself to fall in love with her master's son. Is that not disloyalty? Point of correction. I don't love you. I only care for him because of my master, the queen. And I expect you to do so. I left him once in his dark moment and I'm not going to do that again. You have to. You know, I believe he did not kill Nzaokoli. So when he takes the oath, he will surely leave. So much of that. So much of that. We shall see to that. Keep it going. I want you to stop anything everything that has to do with that embodiment of misfortune that called himself a, a, a sequestrator. I don't want you to share in his unfortunate fate. You understand me? I know he wants the best for me. But this time, I know what is best for me. And that is staying with Prince Ezequiel until he is proven innocent. Look, I know it might be many things, but the fact remains that you've not given him the opportunity to see his good side. Woman, can you hear your daughter talk? We are talking of someone who is about to be convicted of murder. And you are telling us how good he is. What is good about him when everything he does is nothing but evil? I've been against your father on several occasions. 
because of you. But this time, I think and I believe he is right. You have to stay away from him as a person. He might be your king. Sakura, stay away from him. I am sorry to disappoint you. But I know Princess Ekos is going to do something about it. And very soon, very soon, we will prove it. Huh? Where are you going? Did you see that? Look, is there anything about this girl that you are not telling? What do you mean? Yes. Who is our real father? What? Oh, but you may see her. Sometimes, I do ask myself this question. If Prince Ezekusiri is not a reality, would it be this arrogant? Because I feel he's using his reality power to commit evil. That's one thing. <sighs> Justice for Zekore must be served. Even the king and the queen will never twist it this time. See, if they try it again, we the youth of this land will protest because that arrogant prince cannot kill somebody without getting justice for the dead. Wait, wait. My father said that he has accepted to swear an oath before he came to shrine. I believe he's a thief his innocence. That would be instant death. They should bring it to us so we could carry on jungle justice on him. We'll break his head in this community. His own is too much. Ah. But even swearing and dying at that shrine will also worsen the situation because his mother and those close to him will also be stoned to death. Oh. oh, by the time he dies, he wouldn't know, he wouldn't have any knowledge of what we live in a certain place. We need justice, oh, we need justice. Mm -hmm. You can save my baby brother's life by not letting him take care of you. Because if he dies, it's a shame on you. My dear son, the people love and follow me because they know that I am an upright man. They know that I am a man that will never compromise the truth. Will you let them kill your son because you want to protect your legacy? Someday, you will sit on the throne and you will understand that uneasy lies the end that wins the crown. That is not as easy as you think. Princess of please don't do this. Do not take that off. Please. 
guilty. Is afraid. I am not guilty. So why should I be afraid to take the oath? Princess Zokosili, swallow your pride and be realistic. Your mom and Dube will die if you are found guilty. And who says they are going to die? I am a pure heart. Dying is never an option. For once, you just said something reasonable. What? You, have, you still have the chance to change your mind, please. I beg you, if not for anything, for my sake. Hey, mom, can you can you stop that? <laughs> You're making me appear guilty when I know I have done absolutely nothing wrong. If a chemistry finds me guilty, then I will gladly die. But until then, I will not die for. What I did not do. I'm not going to die. Please, I beg you for my sake. So, please. Yeah, I yes. He will be fine. At this point, I think he needs to prove his innocence. Oh. You cannot always make a man. Dubel, why are you sounding as if you don't know what will happen if he's guilty? Even both of you will die. That would be a price to pay for love. In this bush. Uh -uh. Even up to now, the place that sent us to carry this now is not here yet. Can't continue like this. Oh. Ah. So, what do we do now? Eh? You don't want to talk again. Okay, wait. Now, what is the work yourself? Allow me to think now. What is your problem? So, this is the hour to think, right? This is the hour to think. This is the reason why I don't want to do this. But indulge me to this. You indulge me doing it. She's not to Gods of our fathers, I call upon you to arise anywhere you are and avenge whoever that is with you. Arise! Arise! And visit the person with sudden death. Mm. Mm. Mm.
Thank you, innocent of you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Yeah, but you wouldn't believe me. I told you. I'm sorry. Wow. 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 Just like the way you have been feeling hot, that he stole the van from you. You know what? I want to help you. Yes. Because I don't want to leave him for another maiden. I gave him my womanhood. I can't stand the shame. I know you are the person that planted that money in this room. Why did you say that? Yes, I did. I wanted to get to leave him for you. And I have him myself. All right. You can sleep in my chambers tonight. But that simply means you owe me a favor. Yeah. What's the one to make me mine? After all I did to make you my own. You don't look at me. Then they can set both of you up again. That was when I, I know that I need to do something. <laughs> what did you do? I hired people that killed so cool. So you will also die with him because of the animosity between you two. So they did not kill him. I overheard her making a call. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, the man is an old man. He won't prove difficult in killing. Just, just go ahead and do it. Ah. Yes, do it. I will send you the 20,000 Naira. Yes. 20,000 Naira is what I can afford now. I said it's what I can afford. No, no, no. You can't be you can't be saying this amount now. Do you know the uh, uh, you know the gravity of what you want us to do? You know already the gravity of what you want. No, don't say 150 is okay. 150 is fine. Uh, let's let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Please. Okay, uh, I'm waiting.
please forgive me. I don't want to die. Please forgive me. I don't want to die. I told you I'm on a speed lane. If you cross, it's too much ghastly. A guy like this, uh, they won't get the call go. She said, look, we'll go, we'll go carry a camera. What? Why? I don't know when you started to ask why for this business. Why now? Nah, you know, concern us. The cocoa be say, we will go carry the a uh, uh, head. We will just wait, go wait, 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 wait. make the head disappear. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not getting something right. Do you know the implication of what you are saying? Oh, guy, I know the implication of what I'm saying. This is a work, and then they work where will they do normally. The implication of the other one, so will they do, Uncle? Guy, this one, I'm okay. I know they this one. Bless Nali, you go do one. You tell me. What's in the mo just go there, enter that shrine, move the thing. What's in what's in our date tonight just move it? Okay, keep quiet. Okay, that thing no be just uh shrine. We we'll just keep the key for the those old men who the chop file, the chop meat. Okay, leave that thing. Oh just go this this work, eh? We give us money times. Four of whatever we might have collected for any any client. Calm down. You just if you know what run, I go run. I just enter there and move the thing. You just disappear. That's all. What's in the idea? You just find where you go see go sell her. Okay. You just follow me and go there, yes. and I'll be the one to carry it with my hand. So when the money go enter my house, I will still give you what's in there in my mind. But what now? Not me and you go there. You guys say something to walk you. Not me and you go go there. I'm going to give you to my house. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, like I'm there, you may see that person. I'm going to walk you. Okay, calm down. You to the, to the cut liver. Oh, what you see? You can't sleep! This is irony of life. For they say, do not judge a book by its cover. But we seem to be judging this guy wrongly. Who would have believed that Prince Yejika is the evil one amongst them? Hmm. You have to fear those people that keep silent. They might be very deadly. Prince Hezi is Kusiri. He's just a spot brat. It seems he's a good guy. Yes! He's a good guy. We have been judging him based on his temper. Forgetting that he is temperament in nature. But it's heart of good. Ah, he's very good. You never knew. Now you know. May the gods bless this union. The gods will bless you with children. Children that will take care of you at your old age. The gods will bless you financially. 
This union will never lack anything good. So shall it be. You may rise. Oh, you're very mad. <laughs> Come here, my daughter. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> You and I are never ever the same 